feel like I should be doing a voiceover for this. The greatest hits of James Bay. Even though he's still 23. Out now. James, how are you? I'm good, thanks, man. Hey. I like the first, no- the first noise that you made there when the music started playing, you just went, whoa. Oh. It's very Tom Jones. Yeah, that's my guttural, uh, just instinctive reaction to your music. How that's are you, buddy? Cool. How's, how's life? Life is good. Uh, about as good as it can be, I guess. You know, it's cool to be able to release new music despite um, a topsy turvy world. Yeah. Um, can I just say, Dermot, uh, congratulations in order. You had a baby oh, recently, Thanks, no? buddy. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of weeks Very ago. Very exciting. Thank How was you, it? How's things? Oh, he's brilliant. Yeah, we're having a great time. Oh, that sort of that sort of lovely cool. foggy period of, of just kind of sleepless love. That's <laughs> just wake up oh. and go, hey, this guy. <laughs> Yeah, it's sort fantastic. of every now and again you hear you hear noises and you go, "What is that?" Not and you go, "Oh, oh, that's my son." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is that a cat? No, that's our that's our child. Yeah, oh. amazing. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Um, so pre-lockdown, you went you you went back to Nashville and did some recording over there. How I was did. that? It was really great. I was in the studio, RCA Studios, mm. uh, Studio A, Studio B, famous for loads of amazing Elvis Presley music. Studio A, I got in there and this fantastic producer I worked with, Dave Cobb, Mm -hmm. he said to me, this is 25 minutes into being in the room, he said, yeah, there's been some good music recorded in here. He said, about where you're standing in the late 70s, Dolly Parton came in and she recorded recorded I Will Always Love You and Jolene in the same three hours in about (sighs) that spot. Oh, my word. No pressure. Yeah, for sure. But what a wonderful, you know, I've never been to Nashville, but I know I've I've sort of read you talking about it and it... Just that sense, it, of, yeah, that sense of history and I, yeah. I mean, I, especially RCA, that must really blow yeah. you away. It's crazy. It was, it's a really wonderful studio. I, it's, they do a tour. I recommend it. Here we go. And oh, I'd love to. And Dave and Dave Cobb, the, the, the whole kind of remit there was that you did like five, six takes, and then that was it, right? So almost kind yeah, of yeah, it was just a, instinctive. He's a great. He's a kind of. It's lovely to work with such a kind of. A producer led by kind of gut instinct and, yeah. and someone, you know, rather than you can do 15 takes, you can do 25 takes, but you just kind of, you've just got more to delete yeah. afterwards. So it's, it's nice to just sort of go with the gut instinct of number three and number four felt great. Let's do the next song and we'll listen back to, back to them in a bit sort of thing. So it was lovely. It was an amazing experience. So had you recorded, I mean, what's the, what, where are you at at the moment? Have you got an album of you? Are you just EPing or what, what's, have you, and got, you, have you recorded that pre-lockdown in Nashville or have you been writing, yeah, baking, writing yeah, since I, lockdown? I, I, I've been writing since early in 2019, and I I stopped writing pretty much the week before I went to Nashville, Mm -hmm. uh, towards the end of February this year. I was there for a month. I got all the recording done. We have still got, like, mixing and bits and pieces to do. So, but all the music is there for a a full album, so stay tuned. God, that's exciting. The lovely yeah, thing is, is really exciting. the lovely thing is where you are right now, James. Is is chaos and the calm was such a statement, and let and then the electric light kind of flipped everything on its head, which I know is what you yeah. love doing. And so now yeah, the yeah. great thing for you and your fans, they've stayed with you. You can kind of do whatever you want now. You know, <laughs> you can really experiment. It, it's it's fun. I mean, I, I want a great song to be at the core of anything I'm doing. I, I, I want something that's going to move people. I want something that we can sort of sing along to, and yeah. hopefully something that's, that that sort of inspires somehow. But um, it's been fun to push boundaries. It always is. This record, it seems, I only just realised recently, it's the lyrics that have sort of pushed, that is the boundary I've pushed. Mm. I usually I thought it would be something sort of sonic, but this time I realised I didn't draw on kind of heartbreak-led emotions and, and sad and neg- negative emotions. Um, I've, I've written this whole album that, to be honest, it's about the 13 years I've been with my girlfriend. Yeah, that's nice. And I'm, I'm super private about this kind of stuff, yeah. but it sort of deserves that relationship and, and, and Lucy deserved, I mean, more than deserved, but like, it was just time to say something Yeah, about it. and you know, you've got to write about your own experience, haven't you? And that's, there's exactly. always going to be leakage there, isn't there, at the end of the day? Yeah, um, yeah, exactly that. So, and and uh, lastly, before I let you go, the, the whole... You've been doing sort of guitar lessons on Instagram. Or something. I yeah. love this because you said to yourself, like for, first and foremost, you, you you see yourself as a guitar player before you're a vocalist. Yeah, or like. yeah I, I started all my musical sort of journey just on guitar and not thinking about singing much or songwriting. Mm. Much. I was just trying to learn to play. When I was 18, after I finished school, before I knew what I was going to do next, I spent a year teaching guitar. Um, and then when it came to lockdown... And I'm, I wasn't a big social media mm-hmm. like user. I wasn't on there all the time. But there's that feeling of, I'm just a, a, a musician and a sort of entertainer. Can I give anything? Can sure. I do anything here? Can I stay connected? 
um, and guitar lessons kind of came to mind. And it, it gave lovely. my fans an opportunity to sort of check out how I play. I think band. that was a nice thing about lockdown was that collegiate spirit that the sort of, you know, sure. everyone, well, what, what do I, what do I, it's not about being famous or anything, it's about what do I do? Okay, no. well, what can I, yeah. well, let's do that. Um, can I play a part, yeah. And lastly, the, the Brandon Flowers collab. Um, how yeah. was that? That was fun. That was lots of fun to write. Brandon, I mean, I'd say he's a, a younger legend, but he's definitely already a complete yeah, legend. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And for you and me, as Springsteen fans, yeah. and, and actually him as a Springsteen fan, you can see, it's amazing to see someone like that wear his inspiration, his influence is on his sleeve, but be so much his own thing, mm, be so unique. He yeah. is like an absolute, uh, it was just amazing to be in a room like writing with him, but what, but just watching him write at the same time. Wonderful. All right, mate, listen, we're going to play um, Chew On My Heart now. It's great to talk to you. Oh, wicked. Great to talk to you, man. And hopefully see you soon. Yes, yes. Right. Nice one, Dave. Take it easy, James. You. See ya. All right, new from James Bay, this is Chew On My Heart.